Let's imagine a situation that probably happened to you many times. Say you want to delete this line to move it somewhere else. And actually it's after line 4, but uh, actually what I want to do is edit this mistake. But I can't C or S or anything of that sort because then I would lose what I just deleted. It would be very convenient to move the default register aside so you can do the current change and then still have access to what we just deleted. So it's strange that NeoVim doesn't provide by default a way to move the default register to another register. What you would have to do is preemptively think about this and delete that to a certain register to begin with, which is so much mental overhead that I don't see myself being able to do it. So I implemented move default to other and when I press leader G A, for example, I just moved what's in my default register to the A register. I can do any change that I want here without affecting my default register and here it would be because I deleted a single character and then I can access the A register and paste from it. It's a very simple idea but a very useful one. At least for me I noticed many times being annoyed that fuck I can't do this specific thing right now because then I would lose what I specifically need. And then what I might do is press U to go back to the deletion and re-delete it to a certain register, which is just so ineffective and silly. Naturally, another approach that you can use is access the black hole register and then do your change so we don't affect your default register. But what if you do want to use your default register? What if you don't want to black void it? With my solution, you don't have to. Let's go through things. The first thing that we do after we press leader G is we get character. We get a single character from the user. We give them a prompt that explains what we're expecting of them. We get a single character and if they pressed escape, then we consider that there is no character. Now, you won't be able to just look at this and copy this code by hand unless you know about Control Q and Control V in insert mode. So both functions that I'm going to be showing today, I'm going to leave links to in the description to the current commit. And then if you're interested, you can look at the most recent commit as well in case I change something maybe made it better. After we get the character, we check for nil, which in this case is escape, and we validate register. What does this imply? It's a very me thing that you probably don't need, because I remap some registers to act as other registers. It's very inconvenient for me to press plus, zero, and double quote to access registers that I use that often. So if you don't have something like this, you can just delete this line. What we do after is we get the contents of the default register and set to it. Set to the register that we got from the user the contents of the default register. And that's it. After you copy this code and make a mapping for it, you can use this functionality as well. And if you enjoyed this video, consider following me on Mastodon. I leave a link to that in the description. Press a like, type some comment, maybe you have a question or suggestion. Definitely subscribe so don't miss my content, but most importantly, stay fresh, cheese bags! And I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!